This is another TOC preview. I'm managing director Michael Knight. We're not talking with a coach today. We're talking with tournament director Mick Wilson. Mick, uh, it's so great to be a, a part of this tournament for the second straight year. Uh, and once again, a fantastic field. It is a fantastic field, and we really appreciate the support uh, of OK Preps. Of not only Josh but yourself, uh, you guys have been invaluable to us, and we hope this partnership can continue for for several years to come. So, uh, with that, we're really excited about our our chances with the tournament. Uh, some great matchups, some really really good teams, both boys and girls. So, I think it it'll be an interesting uh, three days. One thing that I love about this tournament, and really over the last couple of years since it just continues to blow up, is not only do we have really good basketball teams. We also have some star power. I mean, these teams bring in uh, Division One players. You have Muskogee on the girls' side, Choctaw on the girls' side. Uh, on the boys' side, you have Union with one of the better uh, juniors in the state. Uh, Edison with a fantastic player as well. And Hera has a couple Division One commits. Uh, there's a lot of star power in this year's tourney. Well, I think you put that into the formula when you look at the teams. You, you obviously go for the best teams, but you also make sure that they're, they've got one or two marquee players that uh, can can sell tickets, can uh, excite the crowd, that can be, uh, you know, impact players and on and off the court. So we, we take a lot of things into consideration, but uh, it always helps when you have a marquee player or two to help, uh, help that ticket sales and really they generate a lot of excitement. How pleased are you with how the TOC has grown in just a short amount of time? Well, I, I'm really pleased. Uh, selfishly, I'd like to think that it's got a little bit of my fingerprint on it because, uh, you know, I, I'm, I consider myself a basketball guy. That's what I coached my entire career. So uh, I always want the tournament to be – I step back and look at it as if I'm still a coach and how I would want the tournament to be. I don't want to get myself too far ahead or too far behind or too far above uh, where I come from as far as the tournament. We, I want to look at it like how would I want this tournament to go? How would I want to be treated? How do I want my team taken care of? So I try to keep all those things in mind when, when we develop things uh, that have to do with the tournament. So I'm really excited. I'm pleased about it. want to continue to grow. want to embrace technology, which I think we're starting to do, and, and really want to embrace it even more. But uh, we want this tournament to, to always remember where it comes from and have that tradition, but we also want it to be always on the cutting edge, and, and it was really uh, nice today when James and Jeremy could both say that this is the only high school tournament in the state of Oklahoma that has online ticket sales and, and some of the things that we're doing. And now with uh, you know the selfie sticks and the selfie promotion uh, through Instagram and Facebook, uh, those things, uh, again, promote our kids. Uh, and then selfishly with us, it helps sell tickets because it promotes a, a great item that we're trying to trying to do. And, and I really mean it when I say that I want this to be an experience that uh, these kids never forget when they when they visit tournament champions. It's something they remember when they're adults that they played in the Maybe Center and had three great days when they're in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Boys side, girls side, who wins it? Boy, don't ask me to make that prediction because I'm already in trouble when they looked at the brackets today. So you uh, you really are trying to get me in trouble with these guys. So no, I, I couldn't tell you right now. You know, last year we had in <laughs> in the boys' side we had something that happened that has I don't know if it's ever happened in the history of the tournament. We had a triple overtime with uh, you know Shake Milton fouling out in the second overtime, and and they were a really really good team. And Memorial uh, the 5A team beats the 6A team in in the uh, in the championship. And then on the girls' side, same thing happened. East Central. Uh, beats Muskogee girls, and, and we have uh, something maybe uh, a semi upset there. And then you look back to uh, two years ago when we and, and Rudy was going to shoot me for bringing this up, but we have <laughs> Roland beat Union. So uh, I don't think you can ever ever predict it. Uh, it's fun to try to look and, and think who you think, you know, uh, give your thoughts on who you think will win. But uh, it's just, you know, you put them all together, shake it out, and somebody's going to fall out of there at the end. But uh, there have been some great games and looking forward to some really, really good good games this year as well. You brought up the triple overtime game, and last year was our first year uh, broadcasting all the games on OK Preps. And I remember that championship game mm -hmm. because uh, coincidentally, uh, the last day of the tournament was New Year's Eve. We actually rang in the New Year with the boys' championship game. It, it was a fun time uh, at the Maybe Center. Looking forward to uh, more instant classics like the one we saw last year. Mick, it's always a pleasure talking with you, and thanks so much for having us back again this year. Absolutely. Thanks again for your support, and we really appreciate it. And, and we just encourage everyone to come out and watch some good basketball for three days. And if you can't make it to the Maybe Center, you can watch it live on OKPreps.com. He's tournament director Mick Wilson, also the assistant athletic director of Tulsa Public Schools. I'm Michael Knight, the managing director of OKPreps.com, and this is the home for this year's Tournament of Champions, OKPreps.com.